he pushes me very hard. Um, you know, he tr makes me try and walk up stairs without holding anything and walk without the sticks and things, which I can kind of do, but you know, it's really very difficult. I have a lot of weakness in my hips and I find it very hard to stay stable as I'm moving on the board. But I think it's gotten better since, it's definitely gotten better since the first time I tried it. <laughs> right now, I mean, I certainly have a lot more confidence with my balance and things like that, you know, and he's, like I said, every time I walk into the physio room, he takes my sticks away and I'm not allowed to have them back until I get back to my room, so. Um, uh, so through that, you know, over the six weeks, I've definitely gained a lot more confidence with my balance, which I didn't have before, and trying to do ridiculous things like steps, which I thought I'd never be able to do without sticks or with just one hand. I think it actually helped that there was um, another patient here who had been here for a couple of weeks, a German man, and he, um, he had been, it was really bad and he was doing the steps by himself without any hands and he told me that you know, he couldn't actually do the steps at all to begin with, even with hands. And I was like, okay, I know we have different conditions, but you know, maybe if he can do it, I can do it sort of thing. And you know, Andy was just like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so I didn't really have much choice. <laughs> and I, I don't think he understands the word, I can't. Uh, yeah, he's like, you can, do, go, go, go. I was like, okay, I'll try. I mean, Andy's just been doing so much with the, um, oh, standing with, one leg. with the whole balance and confidence thing that um, I think that'll keep improving if I keep sort of pushing myself with it. I've been here for six weeks now. Um, I've had my eight stem cell treatments. I think I had two uh, two bone marrow ones and the rest were all umbilical cord blood. And they take you down to the operating theatre. Uh, I had the spinal first and then um, they just use a local anaesthetic and numb the area and then stick a big needle in <laughs> and get the stuff out. So it didn't hurt but it didn't feel very uh, nice. Yeah, no pain, it was just weird, really strange. <laughs> they sort of seemed to find a spot that worked and there was absolutely no pain involved in that at all. So yeah, it was absolutely fine once they found the right spot. I've had uh, improvement in sensation, so in my lower limbs. Um, which I didn't realise until the doctors actually tested it because I wasn't really expecting anything. Um, I've had <clears throat> improvement in my ankle movement in my left leg and my spasm in my both my feet has reduced significantly actually over the six weeks. It's hard for you to check your own sensation because sometimes if you're looking at like if you know you're touching your leg you'll imagine that you can feel it so yeah so you have to sort of have it, someone else do it and you close your eyes so you don't know it's still a bit difficult because um like i said it's very easy to it, like when people have no legs they imagine they can feel that they've still got pain in their feet or something so it's very easy to imagine that you've got that you can feel something even if you can't so but I can kind of tell you know I know I've got a good three centimeters below my knee more than I did before and I think I've got some patches now as well around near my ankles that I can feel more than I used to be able to. Mm -hmm. To be completely honest I don't um, I wouldn't actually care if it was a placebo effect because as long as there is an effect but I mean, like I said, that's why I wasn't so like excited or whatever about the sensation because I was like, well, that can be, be a placebo and all that. But when I saw my ankle move 
which hasn't moved since my accident three years ago, I was like, that can't really be a placebo. F for me, I was like, that's, you know, because I try and move my feet every day. I have since, since my accident and that's the first time it's actually moved. So, yeah, I could only attribute it to the stem cells really. <laughs> I've actually been extremely impressed with the the um, hygiene levels here and everything. The staff are great and the doctors are fantastic. And the first few weeks we were here, we did all everything we ate was pretty much um, ordered in. But um, as we got more comfortable with the supermarket and stuff, we've been cooking a bit more, you know. But yeah, the food's good, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, well, before I got here, I was doing um, an hour three times a week. And when I get back, I'll probably do the same, uh, but also um, have another session with a physio, a neurophysiotherapist, who I was seeing about once every six weeks before, but I'll probably see her once a week when I get back, so hopefully be doing four sessions a week. Like I said, I'll be going back to my physio and sort of saying, okay, this is what they've been doing in China and do we, can we take this a bit further? The, a professor or the professor came to see me, um, was it yesterday, I think, and um, I've been prescribed walks on the beach and sunbathing. <laughs> Obviously, I find walking in the sand quite difficult, but you know, I thought it sounded pretty nice. <laughs> um, and also, uh, in about four months, um, they've uh, advised that I sort of try and reduce my bladder medication to see if that's improved at all. So, in five or six months, I might be able to come completely off of the medication, which would be great. <laughs> Oh, it'll be good to get back to uni and things as well. And because um, I find um, in situations like these, I mean, it's okay to be concentrating on your injury or whatever for so long, but only for so long, if you know what I mean. Um, you get a bit crazy if, you, if that's your whole life. No, I'd actually really like to come back on like in a less hospital setting. <laughs> so um, no, I I never sort of thought about coming to China previously, but um, I'd actually like to come back now and see a few things and yeah, I mean, probably learn a bit of Chinese. It's probably a good idea. Even if it's just for the chance, I think it's worthwhile. At least, uh, I mean, I came here with the sort of thought that even if nothing happens, at least I know I've tried kind of thing.